Hey, welcome back to the channel. Sam here from High Life Campers. Now, I've literally just got back from the workshop after picking up this amazing camper. So what I'm going to do is give you a detailed tour of this camper. I'm going to walk around the outside of it and just tell you more about the base vehicle itself. And then as usual, what I'll do is jump in the back of the van and I'll show you what spec we've chosen for this camper uh, and walk through the whole uh, conversion package. So before I start the walk around, what I'll do is I'll put up a couple of pictures up here on the screen of this van when we first received it as the base vehicle. And if you follow our YouTube channel, you may recall us getting this base van in stock a couple of weeks ago. So as you can see from the pictures, this van was a completely bog standard uh, panel van when we bought it. So it's a VW T6 Highline uh, in Indian grey. So if you're looking for a luxury VW camper with all the bells and whistles ready in time for summer, this could be the perfect option for you. So I'm really excited to show you this van. So let's get started. So here we are outside this absolutely stunning VW camper. Now, as I said, this is a VW T6 uh, Highline. The color is Indium Gray. Okay, and it's on a 2017 plate, but it's done very, very low miles. It's only done 26,000 miles. And the reason for that is that the company uh, had a fleet of these vans and they only use the van inside the square mile in London. So it's got very, very low miles for its age. So it's got full service history uh, and it's just had a service. And it's also got 12 months MOT on the van as well. So this camper has had a platinum conversion package. Okay, so it's had the full external modifications. So it's had the front splitter, uh, the gloss black front splitter at the bottom there. We've, we've fitted some brand new 20 inch wolf race alloys uh, and brand new tires uh, that we've also put the sidebars, uh, the gloss black sidebars on the side there. And we're also going to be fitting a color coded rear spoiler. We haven't actually done that yet because there was a delay in receiving the spoiler. So that will have a spoiler on the back there. Now we've also lowered this van by 30 millimeters. So it does sit a little bit lower, which is going to help you to get into garages and into car parks and things like that. So this van is a barn door model. And because it's the Highline, it's got full color coded rear bumpers. It's got rear parking sensors. Uh, and because it's the Highline, it also comes with all the tech inside the van. So it's got uh, air conditioning, it's got cruise control, it's got Bluetooth, uh, a multifunctional steering wheel. So all the tech that you're used to on a car, this van has got. So it's a really, really comfortable drive. And it really is a lot of camper for the money. So we fitted a black canvas roof and a black roof top on this van, which I think goes really, really well with the black trim uh, and also the black wolf race alloys. So the outside of this van is absolutely stunning. I think it looks really great uh, with those black alloys and the Indian grey colour. Uh, so love to know what your thoughts are. Just put them in the comments below on YouTube and let us know what you think to the outside of the van. So what I'll do now is I'll just open up the uh, barn doors just so you can see the van from the outside. So you've got the back of the rock and roll bed there, and then you've got one large cupboard which goes under, right underneath the bed uh, from the front to the back. So you've got a really big storage space inside there. And then you've also got the back of the wardrobe, a decent sized wardrobe locker there as well. And then also a nice sized cupboard uh, at the bottom here as well. So you've got plenty of storage in the back of this van, and I think it really maximizes the space that you've got. So what I'll do now is hop in the back of the van and show you what we've done with the spec uh, on this particular camper. Okay, so here we are inside the van and I think you're going to agree it looks absolutely amazing. So we've decided to go for the very light grey units uh, in this van. They do look white on this video, but they are a very light shade of grey. And then we've also opted for the black metal work on this furniture. Normally we go for silver, but we decided because the van has a lot of black on it with the black wheels and stuff, we've actually decided to put black metal work. So all the handles and the trim on the furniture is finished off in black. And then you've also got the black tambourine door as well. And then we've also fitted the solid oak worktop. So you've got a solid oak worktop and then a matching uh, stowaway table. Okay, and that table actually stows away just behind the driver's seat uh, between the cupboard uh, and the driver's seat. And then you've also got the Dometic fridge with a freezer compartment in there. And then your gas and your 12 litre water go in the cupboard underneath uh, the kitchen area there. Now in terms of the upholstery, we've gone for the black, which is called Schwartz and then very light gray stitching and light gray uh, VW logos. And I think this black upholstery looks really good with all the rest of the black finish uh, on the furniture and also on the exterior of the van. Now, because this van's had our platinum package, it's also had a few extras added to it. So with platinum, you get the van shades blinds on all the windows. So they're really high quality blinds. And I think they really improve the interior of the van. So you've got one on that side, you've got two on the barn doors at the back there, and you've also got one on this side as well. And then also as part of the platinum package, you've also got a diesel heater. So the little outlet for the diesel heater is just behind the driver's seat there. And then you control that We're using that little dial on the side of the cupboard there. And then just above there, you've got the two 240 volt sockets and then two USB uh, points there to charge your phone. 
and then that's the leisure battery control panel there which turns on the lights you've got three spotlights just above here on the passenger side and then you've also got a strip light just above uh, the kitchen area as well now all our vans have a double gas burner okay inside there and then you've also got the cold running water sink as well and that's got a 12 litre water tank uh, just in the cupboard below here so all of our vans come with a swivel passenger seat and we use a sliding mechanism now so you can actually slide uh, the seat right into the van and push it right up to the table uh, so you can all sit together in the back of the van and then you can also slide the seat right back into the driver's area to give yourself some more room as well so this sliding seat is a really great feature and it really does maximize the usability uh, in the back of the van Okay, so let's just jump inside the front of the van and I'll show you inside the driver's area. So one of the benefits of having a sliding seat is that when you push the seat right into the van, you've got a really nice space here. So when you're parked up, you've got some really good storage space uh, in the front of the van here. So we've matched the upholstery to the rock and roll beds. So you've got the black ribbed upholstery with the light grey stitching uh, and the light grey VW logos. And because this is a Highline van, it's got all the tech on it. Like I said, it's got the cruise control, air conditioning. Uh, Bluetooth and the multifunctional steering wheel and this van is also actually 150 brake horsepower uh, as standard uh, with a six-speed gearbox so it does have quite a bit of power uh, which does help when you've got uh, the weight of a camper so the inside of this van is really tidy it drives really really well and like I say it's only got 26,000 miles on the clock so this is really really low mileage uh, for a 2017 plate so you are going to get a huge amount of camper for your money and we're really really happy with how this has turned out Okay, so I'll just do one last little walk around of the van just so you can see how amazing this VW camper looks. Uh, and if you're interested in this, this is ready to drive away. We are taking viewings for this now. And you can find all the details of the base vehicle and also the conversion package and the price on our website. So I will put a link just below this video in the description on YouTube, uh, which will take you through to uh, all the details of this amazing camper on our website, which is highlifecampers.co.uk. Uh, and if you're interested in taking a viewing and going out for a test drive, uh, just make sure you get in touch with us pretty quickly because we're very confident this van is going to sell uh, very soon because we are approaching summer now uh, and the spec on this van really does tick a lot of boxes. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed my little walk around of this amazing camper. So if you are interested in this camper and you would like to uh, have a viewing and maybe go out for a test drive, just get in contact with us through our website, which is highlifecampers.co.uk. Just go to the inquiry page and send us a message. And again, if you are watching this on YouTube, I will put a link in the description directly below this video to the page on our website, which has got all the details of the actual base vehicle itself uh, plus the full spec of the uh, conversion package as well and if you have any specific questions about anything to do with this camper you can put them in the comment section below uh, this video on youtube as well and if you've not already subscribed to our youtube channel yet make sure you do that because i do share regular uh, information videos covering a wide range of topics to do with uh, buying and converting vw campers and i also share regular walk around videos of all the base vehicles that we're getting in stock ready for conversion uh, and also all of our completed campers as well and as usual if you've got value from this video and you've enjoyed the content please also consider hitting that like button so we can help youtube go and find more people to help with our channel and i will see you in the next video speak soon